What's up, everybody? Welcome to this edition of a Funko Popcast. Man, I got a lot of high energy since uh, that Dairy Queen earlier today. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> no. but uh, besides uh, the Dairy Queen and the the kind of pop hunt or toy hunt or whatever shopping hunt that we did earlier today. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm your host Dylan, and we got our other host, MD Shady. MD Shady. And uh, today's Funko Popcast. Uh, you know, there wasn't really much announced. In March, to be honest, compared to like uh, February and uh, January. But, uh, you know, it started out kind of boring, I would admit. But uh, it kind of picked, it kind of went up up and down like a roller coaster, you know. It had its highs and its lows and then, you know. But anyways, so <clears throat> uh, before we start this, uh, last podcast we had talked about uh, a couple things that we kind of left unanswered. Uh, which the first one was, uh, who plays Steve Zizou in Life Aquatic? And who sponsored Dale Sr. in NASCAR? And which, uh, both those have been answered at this point. Uh, so, Steve Zizou is indeed played by Bill Murray. So, Matt was right on that one. And Dale Sr. was sponsored by Good Wrench, Which, that's why I couldn't remember. I knew it was good, but I forgot the last part of it. But anyways... Let's kick this off. Uh, March 1st was the beginning of the announcements for March 2019. And uh, we kick off with a Funko Shop item, which was the last of the seven different Mickey Mouse Funko Pops, which is an orange and teal Mickey Mouse. What do you got to say about this first? This pop, there's not a lot you can say about it. Uh... It's kind of ugly in my opinion. It's the worst one out of the set of seven. If I were to pick up one of these pops, it would be the pink and purple one. Or maybe even the peaches and cream one. But they're just not... They're not worth it to me. Just the the new paint on them just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, I, I wasn't really a fan of the, the colors of orange with teal. Uh, I liked the... The purple and blue, and I think it was the peaches and cream I was I was a fan of. Uh, I think both of those almost made my top ten list uh, for January and February, uh, respectively. Um, but uh, does it make it top ten this month? Well, we'll have to see. Anyways, moving on. Uh, a few days later, on March the 4th, another Funko Shop announcement, uh, which... Uh, this pop was actually announced, uh, on our la well, not the last edition, edition, but the edition before, but it was a February announcement and that is, uh, Agent J from Men in Black and it's the Funko Shop version with the tiny gun. If you remember seeing the movie and he tests out the, the tiny gun that has more power than he thinks it does. Um, I don't think there's going to be really too much that we would talk about. Uh, since we talked about it, uh, or at least I talked about it on the a few episodes ago. Um, so I don't know if you have anything to add to it. Didn't we talk about this pop on the last episode? Um, may, uh, maybe because we had talked about, because uh, Edgar was in my top ten. Yeah. So the Men in Black was, uh, was brought up at that point. Yeah, okay. So... Um... Could have been. Yeah, we talked about it last time, so I'm not going to repeat what I said before, but uh, it's an alright pop. We go two days later, March the 6th, uh, Spastic Plastic, or Fantastic Plastic. I can I can never know what's the actual official name. They kind of go back and forth on those names for some reason. Uh, Monkey Assassin, uh, one of the characters Funko have created. Uh obviously Funko Shop exclusive, so just like the other two we had just mentioned, they would have been released at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on that day. Uh, and uh, you know what? It's not... It's not It's not a bad pop. Like, usually I'm not really a fan of those spastic plastic pops, but you know, I kind of like this one. Yeah, I mean, it, it's cool. I, uh... I'm kind of interested in seeing how all of them will look together as a whole once they make, like, 
20 or so different ones, which they're probably getting up there now. Um, cause I'd, I'd almost want to buy these ones just to take out of the box and kind of like display them all together. Yeah. I think they'd look cool like that, but yeah, it's a, it's kind of simple pop, but the white eyes make it stand out as, uh, just a little, a little cooler than it is. And, uh, it reminds me of a character off of like Cartoon Network, not Mojo Jojo, but like some kind of character from an old cartoon like that, but I can't remember exactly what I'm thinking about. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then, basically, like, for the next week, there was, like, no Funko announcements whatsoever. They may, there may have been, but it was, like, I think Dorbs and, like, all that. Uh, uh, no Funko Pop announcements. they're still making Dorbs. Yeah, they announced, uh, actually, yeah, when they, which actually I'll discuss, uh, at least I'll hope I remember to talk about it, uh, with the certain reveals that, you know, would have happened as we record this today, which got released today. Uh, uh, but, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so, uh, as I was going with this, so basically a week after, um, Funko had finally announced one of what I know is, I guess, the three remaining Pokemon Pops that are supposed to be released by the end of the year on March 13th. They announced this, and that's Charmander. Um, Charmander. I'm I'm a, I'm a fan of Charmander. Uh, I I like how he looks, and uh, I'm a, I'm a fan of Charizard. So I think my plan is is that they eventually, if they make like uh, the evol the evolutions or however the term would be evolutions. I guess that would be more proper. <laughs> the evolutions of each. Po I would guess. I guess I would have to get Charmander to go with charmeleon which would go with charizard um which i i did make pre-order at uh good old eb games and unfortunately uh my co-host here uh didn't make it on time to get those pre-orders was that for the charmander or was that for the bulbasaur though i thought you said it was i think for the charmander because you went in because i told you maybe like yeah. hey i got charmander and then when you went in uh, I think they told you no. Yeah, they took him off the yeah. pre-order list, so he's no longer in the system. Yeah, so let's hope that uh, Hot Topic gets some in uh, when they get released, which this Funko Pop uh, is going to be released in May of 2019. And if you hear noises in the background, like a cat noise, you know, there's a cat in here. Just saying. Third co-host... <laughs> um but uh no but anyways so uh moving on uh that same day on march the 13th we got uh two new mr bean funko pops which both of them are wearing pajamas however there is a chase version which uh has the teddy bear which i'm okay with uh i'm okay with these pops but i don't think i'm going to get these uh because i think i'd like the the original one's better considering uh even the the normal mr bean pop has him with the suit that he's normally iconic with and he's holding the teddy bear already i'm pretty sure and uh the chase version is him with the turkey head which is i think the most famous episode from mr bean so i don't think there's really a point uh for me anyways to get the mr bean the new mr bean funko pops yeah, they're uh, they're all right. They did a good job on the head, but the bodies are just kind of really boring. Yeah. Um. Now, uh, yeah, those pops are expected, as announced by Funko, to be released as early as June twenty nineteen. Um. Now, moving on to two days later, March fifteenth, which, uh, if you remember on your calendars. That would have been day two of Emerald City Comic Con since it started on March 14th, but they announced that on March 15th they would be releasing uh, the different various uh, Emerald City Comic Con shared pops, which the ones we're actually going to talk about, which right now when you watch this on YouTube, the, the first photo will be thrown up. Uh, first one we talk about, 
uh, which was discussed on the last edition because we talked about the Emerald City Comic Con pops, is the Ramona with Mallet uh, Funko Shop shared pop from Scott Pilgrim versus the world. Uh, when I was editing the video the last <clears throat> for the last episode, uh, Matt had said, you just said Scott Pilgrim in the world. And I said, no, I said Scott Pilgrim versus the world. But he was right. It ended up being Scott Pilgrim in the world. That's what I ended up saying. So, yeah, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. And uh, I don't think we're going to go... I don't think we're going to go in too much detail uh, with these pops. Uh, so now move on to the next three Funko Shop shared items, which are Freddy Funko with the blue fish which is definitely the one that Matt didn't want. He would have rather wanted to have the one with the rainbow trout and he was wearing the I, I don't even remember I think that one. Yeah, that one's wearing the the yellow pants, but uh the other one was just like a normal like brown attire or whatever, but yeah, you would have rather and then uh yeah, cuz it's going on what? 400 bucks on eBay right now. 400 dollars. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty expensive, so um, I don't know the chances of MD Shady over here getting a normal Freddy Funko with fish Funko Pop. Um, yeah, there's that, the one with the blue fish. We got the Pillsbury Doughboy with the Shamrock Cookie, uh, which is all right. And we have Steve Zizu, a.k.a. Bill Murray, <laughs> unanswered questions from the last episode so those obviously i'm pretty sure actually it wasn't 11 a.m pacific stand i think it was actually 7 a.m yeah, pacific 7 standard time which would be 11 a.m eastern standard time or actually no 10 10 a.m because three hours difference uh yeah so 10 a.m eastern standard time to get your Funko Shop shared items from Emerald City Comic Con. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you have anything to add. Because uh, I don't. No, we went over this before. So. Yeah. All right, so now moving on, finally. Um, same day, March 15th. Uh, they had announced additional Captain Marvel Funko Pops. Considering the movie was coming, I think it came out like that day march 15th or was the week after or week before i can't remember it was it was somewhere around that time frame captain marvel came out in theaters yeah um so they had announced um they had they had announced a set before i think it was like late last year maybe it was during like january or something i can't remember but uh they announced four different ones but the first one we'll talk about his character, Ronan, and uh, he is a special tool, the special tool, special T series Funko Pop, and uh, I like the design on this one. And uh, oh, you gotta be f***ing kidding me! We bring you back to your scheduling reported podcast. Oh wait, it was all right. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of uh, flipped out there because I had got interrupted. And uh, as we're filming, this is actually our second take because we had interruptions. But uh, anyways, moving on. We were on Ronin, the specialty series. It's a, it's not that bad of a pop, uh, to be honest. Uh, even though it does only have like two colors. Um, I like the, the little mallet, I guess I would I would call it. And uh, it's got some. It's got some detail. Um, I, I don't know what you got to add to it. Yeah, I was gonna touch on exactly what you said about the two color thing. I counted, and there's literally four different colors on this pop. So I don't know, especially for a specialty series pop. I just don't think it like hits the quality standard that it should be for like, like let's say compared to like. Henry Monster on Sesame Street, or, or Harry Monster, I think his name is, or, um, like, Uncle Traveling Matt from Fraggle Rock. Those are just, like, two 
good pops to add to the set. I mean, for some fans, this might be a good pop to add to their set, but to me, I don't know. It's just not a good pop at all. Yeah, so uh, then we move on. Uh, still Captain Marvel, but I had saved these because they were all in the same post, so I didn't want to send separate photos or add them, so I made it all into one photo. So we got Captain Marvel, and uh, in this version of Captain Marvel, we got uh, Captain Marvel with the box. And then we have a uh, flurkin version of Goose, which is the cat, which I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, from what I've heard, Flurkin is actually uh, the species. It's not even a cat. It's a uh, well, it's oh, a cat, really? but it's yeah, like that's why it's got like the thing coming out of his mouth because it's like a like an alien cat type thing. Yeah. Uh, and then we have a chase. So or the normal one, it's got the little uh, like the blue thing in his mouth, uh, which I don't know what it is because I haven't seen Captain Marvel yet, and uh, the. Other one is Chase, which has got a little tentacle out of his mouth. Nothing really uh, shown. It's uh, It's got all right uh, detail, um, especially the, the Flurkin version. And uh, that one actually glows in the dark. Uh, you got the, but only the blue part, though. I was going to say probably the blue part, yeah. And then, uh, then the other one, uh, it's, it's okay. But uh, I think the normal one's better than the, uh, the Chase version. And then... Uh, See, yeah, I I like the Chase version more, but the the normal version is almost better, and it kind of touches on what uh, Top Pops was saying in that video we were watching the other day, where it's a good marketing scheme that Funko does, where they make the normal one better than the Chase, and then people are still going to buy the Chase anyways, because it's a Chase. Yeah, um... But, uh, yeah, so now, uh, then one other pop that was announced, uh, <clears throat> which I should have also mentioned, uh, those, uh, I'm pretty sure, um, Funko announced they are coming soon, so there's no official, uh, date yet on when they're actually coming out. Actually, the Captain Marvel with the box and the, the Goose Pops are actually available now, because I've seen people and videos of like getting the pops at the stores uh, um i don't know about the ronin one i think the ronin one is like a coming soon uh not sure when that one's actually coming out or if it's even available now but uh the next one on march 15th also this would be the last one for the day uh box lunch and funko themselves had announced uh a new ariel pop which Ariel from Little Ariel. Mermaid. Whatever. I've never seen the Little Mermaid. So <laughs> I. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Ariel. Yeah, true. There's an E. It's not an A. Um, Ariel with a white dress and it's box lunch exclusive, which they didn't even announced on March 15th that they would be released on March 18th, which which means at this point Mermaid it's available 30 years Holy yeah 30 years that uh little mermaid's been going on um but yeah uh march 18th it was released so at this point it's available now um i don't re i have basically nothing to say to be honest uh yeah i mean it's basically from the scene in the movie where she like she wants to be human or whatever to be with uh Jeez, it's been so long, I don't even remember names. But she has human legs instead of her mermaid tail. And I don't know, it's an alright pop. It kind of looks like if you slapped a aerial head on a Pocahontas body. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. It's alright. Yeah, um, now uh, March 19th. Uh, AT&T, out of all people. No! What?! AT&T, out of all people, uh, announced on their Facebook page via, uh, they did like a video, uh, but it was actually later announced uh, by Funko on March 27th for some reason. I don't know why Where there's a delay at AT&T. That's why it's an AT&T exclusive. I never see AT&T like 
Yeah, so anyways, where I was going with That's this, so weird. it's a metallic version of Night King from the TV series uh, Game of Thrones, which, uh, you know what, I've seen, obviously there's there's already this version, but not metallic, Yeah. but I feel like for some reason the metallic one kind of looks better than yeah. the norm, like the normal one. Uh, I can see right on like the skin, it's it bring, I would say like it brings out like kind of the, the skin. And uh, the outfits very detailed, and uh, even the eyes. The eyes are, I think, I don't know. It kind of looks like the eyes are a little bit darker than the normal one, because it's metallic. But I, yeah. I don't know what it, I don't know what else to to add to that. Is this like one of the only pops that has pupils? Uh, might be. Weird. Yeah, but th- this is this pop is dope, like. I don't even watch Game of Thrones, but this looks sweet. Yeah, definitely a lot of detail on the torso and the arms, and it looks like on top of the head there's a little bit of, like, crackling. I don't think it's scales. I think it's more of, like, it might be, like, scaly, crackly yeah. kind of thing. And the mouth looks good with the teeth and the, the lip there. and I... I I guess it makes sense to put the pupils on this pop because he definitely does have those eyes in the show because I've seen like pictures of him obviously. Um, yeah, this pop is it's nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now we go uh, March twentieth. Uh, or I should have mentioned also when they announced these pops, uh, not on the nineteenth. But on the 27th by Funko, I think they confirmed it's come either coming soon or I've heard from sources in next month in April uh, when those will be released. But anyways, now the next pops uh, is from, I'm pretty sure it's a TV show, uh, which is called Thunderbirds. Um, I've never really heard of it. I think I've seen like, uh, I think these were actually shown uh, in concept art form in that new Funko 2019 catalog. That was, I think, given out during New York Toy Fair. Uh, Especially even, I think, Top Pops got one. So I think he would have seen that. Yeah. Um, Yeah, so we got uh, Aloysius Noisy Noisy Parker. We got Lady Penelope. And we have Brains. Those are the characters. uh, Which, uh, Brains, I'm pretty sure, is the one with the the blue glasses. Yeah, that makes sense. And then... uh, Lady Penelope obviously in the middle, and then uh, Nosy Parker is on the right in the photos. Oh, he's got a huge Triple H nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, uh, we got uh, yeah. So we got the top hat. We got uh, jacket. It's also brown. Uh, yeah, big nose. Uh, Lady Penelope wearing a pink outfit. We got brains with the blue. Uh, blue glasses and he's got kind of like a like a like a beige outfit um i'm assuming thunderbirds as in something to do with planes maybe i don't know yeah that's possible i I could be wrong if anyone's listening and they know about thunderbirds please comment tell me like i guess the plot without really spoiling it um but uh yeah, these pops are expected to come out as early as June 2019. The next one. Next one I'm super pumped to talk about. It's uh, one that's been rumored for quite a bit. And uh, finally, it's confirmed. We got ourselves a WWE Becky Lynch Funko Pop. Uh, as a wrestling fan, I'm super pumped. And... Uh, yeah, so in the so in the pop we got uh, she's got her fiery red slash orangey hair. She's wearing a man t shirt. Uh, she's wearing uh, wearing the black pants. She's got uh, shoes on. She's not wearing her attire, which I'm I don't know. I ca- I kind of wish she was just wearing a wrestling attire. But I mean, normal street clothes I guess is cool, uh, considering she's just been out doing promos the last I don't know uh, how long. But uh, yeah, this pop. Except the fact that I'll tell the story in just a bit. Uh, this is an Amazon exclusive, or as they say, it's an Amazon exclusive because I actually went to EB Games. I think it was yesterday, 
and uh, a buddy of a buddy of mine was pre-ordering some pops, and he asked about WWE Funko Pops, and the guy that was working had actually confirmed that that Becky Lynch was in their system at EB Games, which is weird because Funko announced Amazon. So what I'm thinking is maybe the Amazon exclusive is the street clothes and the one that's in the EB system is her ring attire. Ah. Because, yeah, they never... Well, because with the other pops, because there was also other pops that they confirmed but obviously we won't really go into too much detail until funko officially confirms them that there was some other if you if you follow the dirt sheets like disc pops and funko finder and pop keep uh formerly known as pop curated uh you would have seen if you're a wwe fan and a funko fan you would have seen what the latest rumors of the next wave of funko pops are but that does seem like a very uh reasonable theory that the EB version could be a uh, a ring attire version, and this Amazon is her street clothes version. Yeah. Considering they they only announced that, but uh, this, if we can <clears throat> confirm, this street clothes version of Becky Lynch is expected to be released on Amazon. Uh, it's up for pre-order right now because I already looked at like the or at least Amazon US. I. Uh, and it's supposed to be released August 2019, so oh, it's a little bit geez. far away, uh, but, you know. Yeah, so, I don't know if there's anything you wanted to add, I should say, besides um, what your theory was. I don't know. The hair's cool with the braid or whatever, and uh, the shoes are probably the best part of the pop. Those look freaking wicked. Some nice colorful kicks. But yeah. All right, the next uh, Funko Pop uh, announced on the same day, and uh, finally, I actually uh, I figured out how to find the sources for these certain kind of exclusives, the uh, previews exclusives, because last month there was actually a pop that I left out that I didn't get to add because I didn't know how to get the the sources for the previews exclusive, but I guess now the official website is pre- previewsworld.com where you can find their announcements for exclusives, which you might have seen the photo. Uh, it was Spider-Punk. It was Spider-Man, and he's got, like, like, uh, like mohawk. He's got a mohawk, and he's no, got a guitar. It. Yeah. Huh. It, it looked pretty sick, so I think even, like, if, if I would have, like, known about the source, uh, during, I think that may have been in my top ten for yeah. February. But, uh... Anyways, um, yeah, this uh, previous exclusive uh, that was announced uh, is a new Harley Quinn Funko Pop. And, uh, wow, a lot of uh, detail, I should say. She's got, like, uh, I would say, uh, do I say eyeliner? I can't really. Yeah, yeah. Eyeliner, like blue eyeliner on one eye pink on the other and on the side where's the blue eyeliner there's like red streak of hair and then the other side is the blue streak of hair got her normal red and black attire but she's got a boom box and uh looks pretty fancy fancy dancy yeah this uh this pop is really detailed i like the touch of the boom box and how she has it she's like captain morganing on it with the one leg up um, and something that I th- thought was hilarious that, like, I was thinking about while you were just talking about, uh, the release dates for these, because you said this was released the same day as Becky Lynch, right? Not released, but, um... Announced the announced. same day. Yeah. Yeah. Which I find funny, because if you look at them, they could totally be on the same tag team. They're both throwing up the rock and roll hand. <laughs> and, and then, like, like, I don't know if when you're editing this, you could, like, throw up a picture of both of them side by side. Yeah, I'm sure I can. And, uh... Just, just like, I just thought that was hilarious. But yeah, besides that, this pop, like, it, this is really cool. I like this pop a lot. Yeah, true. I didn't even realize that till now. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool pop. Uh, this is expected to be released, uh, late May, early June, twenty nineteen. 
uh, between those dates, uh, according to previewsworld.com, where you can find all the previews exclusive um, announcements. The next one, the next day, March 21st, quite a bit of Funko Pops being announced on this day. Yep. And uh, it's actually uh, a lot of fans were wondering. They, they keep asking Funko, uh, when are we getting those uh, Star Wars Celebration announcements? And they said soon and soon and all the so many times they've said soon. But March 21st, they finally announced the 2019 Star Wars Celebration Pops. Or as you may know from pre uh, from your boxes, it will the sticker will say Galactic Convention exclusives, uh, which uh, the first ones uh, obviously there's like about eight of them that are like the same except different colors. But obviously the first one we'll talk about. Uh, so we got Darth Vader, Princess Leia, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, Yoda, and Chewbacca, which all are blue chrome. And these pops are actually, um, <coughs> excuse me about that. Um, these pops are exclusive to the convention themselves. So when you go to the convention, which I'm pretty sure this year is in Chicago from, I think, April 11th. Yeah, okay, I got it on here. April 11th to April 15th, 2019. You can, uh, they are 2,500 pieces. Uh, I think it's per pop, I would assume. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they're not going to be shared with any stores. And, uh, yeah, so uh, if you if you want these blue chrome pops, uh, you'd have to go to the convention, and you'd have to stand in line for the Funko booth and to get these pops. Um, or you'd wait and get the uh, very expensive prices on eBay. But uh, who knows? Maybe, I don't know if they're going to be up like uh freddy funko with the fish yeah but uh yeah um i don't know for some reason i'm i'm not really liking the uh the blue color i don't know what you think i i'm i don't know i personally uh, i'm not a fan of the chrome pops i hate it it just seems so cheap to me to throw a different paint on a figure and try to sell it again <coughs> even though like, I don't, I don't sell figures, so I can't, like, say that I did that. But I, I would have, like, done this as a child. I would have, like, spray-painted it blue, and I'd be like, oh, this is cool now. Um, I, I just think it's really cheap to do it. But, that being said, I think these six look wicked, especially the Boba Fett. I don't know why, I just really like the Boba Fett. It, it kind of looks like Django, I guess, because of... Because he's blue. Blue, yeah. So I just, I really like that Django Fett. Or Boba Fett. Boba Fett. <laughs> yeah, it's Boba. Uh, and then uh, the next one, which actually will be shared to various outlets. I forgot to write down exactly. Uh, I think all these, uh, which they're the gold chrome versions of the same pops we were just talking about. Darth Vader, Princess Leia, Stormtrooper, Boba Fett, Yoda, and Chewbacca. They're all, I'm pretty sure I remember... Darth Vader is going to Amazon. I think uh, Hot Topic is getting Princess Leia. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, I think Yoda's. You may have messaged me at one sec. Yeah. Um, when you sent me it the first day, I think you actually said which ones they were going to. I remember. I think I did a post on uh, the Funko Popcast uh, Instagram oh, that actually that shares. That, that actually shares yeah. it, but I'm pretty sure also, I think EB Games slash GameStop will be getting Yoda, I'm pretty or no, Chewbacca, I think it is, and Boba Fett's going to, I think, FYE, uh, from what I remember, or, no, you know what, Chewbacca's going to FYE, but, uh, no, I know, I know, I already got a, I already got a bleep out my little mishap from earlier, but, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, obviously, I'll try to figure it, this is gonna be one of our unanswered questions for next month, which, uh, yeah, which yeah. these pops, uh, will be exclusive to a place, except the fact that I know, uh, the next two pops that we're gonna be talking about, I know exactly where they're going to, which, the next two after these, I think is the most hyped out of all the Star Wars, 
uh, celebration pops that were announced, which we got ourselves a new hooded Darth Maul, which uh, I do have lots to say about that. And we have ourselves, I think for the first time ever, we got ourselves a Watto, which I was pretty pumped, which uh, I kind of figured uh, they, they made these Funko Pops because this year marks the 20th anniversary of the Phantom Menace movie. Wow, it is. Holy Because it came out in 1999, so it's 20 years since the movie came. Honestly, the one thing about the Darth Maul Pops, like, they've this is the third Darth Maul Pop they've made because they have, like, the original one. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. That right there, guys. I realize that's wrong because there was that holographic Darth Maul that was made back in the day. Now back to the podcast. With like the the eyes, and then they have uh, it's the Star Wars Rebels one that would have came with the Smuggler's Bounty. Okay, yeah. And I feel like they're constantly making better Darth Mauls. Like I keep getting impressed. Yeah. With these Darth Mauls, like I like the look of this. I think maybe the only thing I don't like about it is like you can't see both sides of Darth Maul's lightsaber. But who's to say this may have been like when. Like, I'm pretty sure Obi-Wan at some point cuts the lightsaber in half. I... Yeah. Yeah, I believe you're correct about that. I don't think the lightsaber's double-sided here. I believe this is... When he has the hood on still is... Is part of it where, yeah, it's either in half or he only had the one side ignited at the beginning of the battle. Yeah, that's true. And, uh... Yeah, Watto. Watto still looks pretty sick. Uh, a lot of uh, detail on that. Uh, the colors and everything. Um, and then... No money, no parts. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know what you got to add to these ones. Um, These are both awesome. I personally love The Phantom Menace, which is an unpopular opinion among most Star Wars fans. But I just... It's definitely the best out of the prequel trilogy. It's, yeah, it's, I might I might have to disagree with you on that. You, Just you, you like Revenge of the Sith. Revenge right? of the yeah, Sith is I definitely it, yeah. definitely it's even not even like just the favorite prequel. I still think it's like my favorite Star Wars out of oh, really? all of them. Yeah, that's definitely. I just I just think because there are so many like sweet battles that like. You probably like yeah. may have never thought of like Grievous that was and Obi Wan and then Obi Wan and Anakin and there was in that the very first one even though we're we're kind of going off topic but this is still Star Wars so it's not really off topic but the first battle was technically the rematch I would say the re rematch handicap match of oh, Obi Wan and Anakin against Dooku and then you had yeah the Grievous and Obi Wan and then you had Mace Windu and uh, Sidious. Yeah, Sidious, uh, which led eventually, which I think is still my, I think my favorite, may have been my favorite battle throughout the movie, Yoda and Sidious. Uh, yeah. That was a sweet battle. And yeah, then obviously, a lot of that movie, and, all, and, and then, yeah, the Obi-Wan, Anakin, and then the sweet freaking ending of Anakin finally becoming Darth Vader. And, but. So, yeah, basically what I was saying is that like, it's one of my favorite Star Wars movies, so I love these pops. We finally have a Watto pop, and it looks wicked with one of his eyes kind of a little bit more shut than the other. There's great detail on them. The shading, or not even the shading, but the blending of the colors making it look like the blue, like, goes right through into his normal, like, skin color, or like his under skin color, I guess is what you could call it. Um, he's on a little floating stand, and I've heard someone say this before online and i kind of agree with it now that i look at it again is that he's too low on the stand where it looks like he has one foot on the ground where he should just be perched up another centimeter higher and it'll give him more of a flying look um but yeah it's really cool the the darth maul is really cool with the hood i love the robe that he has on it uh looks cool it's kind of flapping in the wind and you have, like, a iconic uh, Darth Maul pose that he's got going on. And, yeah, both of these are wicked pops. Yeah, so now moving on. The next day, March 22nd, 
Uh, the San Francisco Giants official website had announced that if you were attending the June 28th San Francisco Giants versus Arizona Diamondbacks game and you had gotten VIP tickets, uh, when you enter, you'd be getting uh, these next two pops you would be talking about, which you get are... both of them or one or the other? I think you might actually get both. Really? Yeah, I think so. Huh. But I read some of it, but I didn't read uh, too much. But first, uh, the Bruce Lee, San Francisco Giants, uh, just normal him uh, that we uh, are looking at currently. Uh, he's got wearing the baseball jersey. He's got his uh, black hair. But then the next one is a completely orange, almost looks like a prototype in a way, uh, San Francisco Giants, Bruce Lee, uh, Pop. Uh, both of them doing the same pose. It's just different colors, and the Giants jersey is obviously different. Um, I'm kind of okay. I'm okay. I think I'm okay with the one, but the orange one is just like, eh, it's boring and... I don't know. Yeah, the the first Bruce Lee one is cool. I I actually really like it. He's got the cool like, uh, kung fu, kicking, jumping up stand. Um, but I have a theory of this. I'm thinking maybe this is the prototype, and maybe they're giving it away to someone lucky who goes to the game with VIP tickets. Not bad. You know what Not I mean? Not bad. Yeah. Maybe. Like one lucky person might get that prototype. And then the rest are getting these normal ones. If not, then it's really weird because this is a super weird uh, pop. Just like, why why would you want a an all-orange Bruce Lee? I mean, I, I don't know a lot about the Giants, so I'm, I'm assuming that's their color is orange, right? Yeah, it's uh, yeah. orange and black. Yeah, orange and black. And... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of cool, but, like, what does Bruce Lee have that associates him with the Giants? I don't know, that that kind of, it's like the same thing with, because uh, this isn't the first San Francisco Giants Funko Pop. Yeah. Because they've had the, the Woody San Francisco Giants yeah, Pops, right. and they've had, they actually, uh, not a lot of people know this, but they've had a San Francisco Giants Jack-Jack Funko oh. Pop. And I know that because I was looking up Jack-Jack Pops, like, a few months ago on eBay, and that San Francisco Giant one popped up. No pun intended. <laughs> uh, so, uh, huh. yeah, so uh, I guess that's that's all. But uh, a few days later on March the 25th, uh, <clears throat> Funko had announced a Spider Carnage Funko Pop, which Spider Carnage, obviously Spider-Man, and the symbiote known as Carnage, which you probably would have seen Carnage in, in the comics or have heard about him if you're just brand new to the whole Venom movie and stuff. Uh, obviously, uh, the Funko Pop. I kind of, I forgot that this was a thing, which surprised me. Like, it, I was surprised about this pop because I forgot that this was something that actually existed in the comics. Where eventually Spider-Man ends up, like, kind of being Carnage. So it's Spider-Carnage. Um... I think I like the way, like, the colors are overall, especially, like, the spider. The spider in the middle of his chest is more like like Venom's logo, obviously. Yeah. And uh, for some reason, I think uh, the only thing I, I don't like about the the pop, and especially they did this with the, like, the Venom pops, is, like, the mouth. I don't know if I like, like how the mouth is. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. The pink... On the mouth. Like, I mean, it's how it should be. It just looks so weird with the color scheme of it. Like, it would be such a... It'd be a really, really beautiful pop if they were able to change the mouth somehow where it just didn't have that super vibrant pink that kind of just throws off the whole color way of the pop. Even if they had, like, the tongue in, like, the original, like, Venom and Carnage yeah. pops that were released uh a while back uh besides these new ones because i notice even in like the newer uh carnage pops for for the uh the venom movie uh the, the mouse are basically like that yeah which i i don't like about it but yeah. um 
But yeah, besides that, this this Spider Man suit with like the Carnage symbiote attached to him, um, it really reminds me of Spider Man twenty ninety nine, uh, like just the the way the legs look mostly, I guess, and also the logo on his chest. This I really like this pop. I do. Really yeah, like I'm. It. I'm. I'm probably. I think I may get this at like. If it's at a Comic Con, yeah, yeah, because I don't know if I'll have the time What's to. What's it exclusive to? It's a triple A anime. That's the. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, also uh, I think the last time I talked about triple A anime was the first ever pod podcast I did, and it was for the London Toy Fair for, uh, I think it was Dragon Ball Z, mm. one of the. One of the pops that was announced there it was a triple A anime, uh, which this pop's actually available for pre order now. I don't know when it's being released though, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, um, the next day, <coughs> holy, uh, March twenty six. These were kind of rumored days before, but officially confirmed by Funko that we are getting uh, all three members of the band known as the Police in Funko Pop form. Which uh, we got uh, in the order of the photo. I'm pretty sure uh, it's Andy Summers on the left uh, playing uh, guitar. And in the middle is what would be the, mo the more famous member of the police, uh, Sting, with his bass. And we got uh, Stuart Copeland on the drums, which uh, it doesn't show in that photo there. But when you click on the link on FunkoBlog.com... Uh, this drummer does come with the drum kit. So Ooh. now, the second drummer in Funko Pop form to actually have a drum kit uh, with, his, with his Funko Pop. So, you know, Catman isn't the only one after all uh, at the moment. Uh, and I even think, like, after looking at all the... When I was looking at through all the three, I think even, like, uh, Stuart Copeland is probably the, the better looking one. Out of three, you think so? Yeah, I think when, when when you have the drum kit in front of him. Oh, okay. If it's not, then I think probably yeah, I'm Sting. Not, I'm not seeing the drum kit in the picture that I'm looking at, so. Yeah, like the the photo, especially it would be the photo that uh, is appearing on your screen if you're watching this on YouTube. It doesn't show the drum kit; it just shows him with the drum sticks. Um, but when you click on the Funko blog link, that he does have a drum kit. But, uh, yeah. Yep, that's, uh, the police. I don't know if there's anything added, if you want to add. Um, I mean, not really, besides, like, I really like how the Sting Pop looks. I mean, I like how all of them look. I'm gonna get them. I just think they did a really good job on Sting's hair. It really looks like them for, like, how generic the Pop is. I think, like, if you just look at the head, it, it, it looks like Sting. Yeah. Um, March 27th, uh, the Funko Shop exclusive, uh, the last one for the month. Uh, this one was announced as Fantastic Plastic. That's how I kept saying it, okay. because when they announced them, it was Fantastic Plastic. Uh, it is, uh, I guess it was already one that was, uh, like, released before except it's now a different color which is, yeah. is an orange uh an orange version of a character called gill um which uh obviously first of all orange i like the teeth on him and uh i'm a i can't really tell what's on his forehead if that's like I'm, gills themselves I'm, i think they're more or less wrinkles yeah and then he's got like he's got like uh what the heck is the term for it for like his fin webbed fingers and uh, he's got webbed feet also. Obviously, he's some sort of, like, fish slash amphibian yeah, type some deal. Of aquatic creature. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a bad... It's not a bad pop. Yeah. But, uh, obviously, I probably won't get it. The highlight of this pop is definitely the eyes. They have, like, the black with the purple ring with the, like, dark blue ring around that. I, I think the eyes look really cool. It's, it's a cool pop. I might pass on it. Might grab it, depending on how many of these fantastic slash spastic 
plastic pops come out and how many I can get my hands on. It's, it's all right. Yeah, and uh, those would have been released, obviously, that same day at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I should have remembered that those police pops are supposed to come out as early as June 2019. Bam. I just had to put that out there. Uh, now, uh, the next set of pops announced uh, by Halo. Halo's website, uh, because they're having this thing called like an Outpost Discovery oh. Tour where it's kind of like a family experience on the the Halo world. And they had announced earlier they were an, adding a Funko Pop to like their VIP experience for VIP ticket holders, but they didn't say what exactly it was. But March 28th, we officially had gotten the word that it was going to be uh, an already released Funko Pop, which is Master Chief with Cortana, except this time it's all golden. Uh, which uh, I think it's kind of like, you know, the same deal we were talking about with like those chrome Star Wars Pops. It's like, eh, like don't really like the whole one color thing but like the detail with it even if it had uh like the multicolors, probably like the normal one uh would look cool yeah yeah i know i said earlier that i don't like the repainted pops this one's kind of different though it's not chrome which i mean i guess makes it look not as good i just think this one looks really cool and i love how the cortana is also a pop she's got the pop head um, I wish this wasn't, cause this is probably going to be a hard pop to get your hands on, eh? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So for the price it's going to be worth, not worth it. If it was, uh, like maybe let's say like fifteen ninety nine or something. Sure. I'd buy it, but it, it's going to be a stupid amount of money for what it is. Yeah. All right. Now. I guess, you know what, March 31st, today is the day, er, that's today, as we're recording this, and is the last announcements, and it was a huge announcement, uh, at midnight uh, today, uh, Funko had finally confirmed, even though we've had rumors for the past month, and we thought these were actually going to get announced on February 28th, uh, as we thought we were going to miss out, but nothing was announced that day, but today, as we record this, or March 31st, Funko had announced and confirmed uh, the Avengers Endgame Funko Pops, which I think from what I counted, including, uh, you'll see a, a two-pack later on, around 35 different Funko Pop items. I'm pretty sure that that's the number I counted. But, uh, yeah... Um, anyways, I'll just go through the through the list. So we'll start out with the commons. So the commons we have uh, in the order I have uh, from kind of like top, uh, kind of top to like middle to bottom or more like the left. Uh, we got uh, Captain America uh, in like an Avengers outfit type thing. Uh, we got Tony Stark. And then on the left, we got the Hulk. And on the, the bottom, we have Thor black widow and we got ant-man uh they're all wearing uh the cap uh, i guess i would assume it's the avengers outfits for the movie um there i don't know really i'm i don't know really what to say about them but i mean i guess we'll talk about them after i mentioned about the rest because i think i'm just gonna like kind of skim through these yeah like when sense. i especially editing through this uh then the next one on uh, the next photo for commons we got uh we got Thanos, or sorry, start off with War Machine, uh, which is like the black and gray, like Iron Man type looking. We got uh, Nebula, we got Thanos, uh, Hawkeye, we got Captain Marvel, and then, yeah, that's it. So uh, Thanos has got his normal attire. I think all of them got the normal attire. Actually, it does it looks like War Machine from the photo is wearing like the... Nah, that might be his normal attire. And then uh, Nebula's got the uh, Avengers attire. And then everyone else is wearing their normal ones. But, uh, yeah. And then after that, uh, we have uh, Entertainment 
Earth exclusives, which are basically, I'm pretty sure, the, the same ones as the commons, except the differences. So we'll name them off, obviously. Uh, Captain America, Tony Stark, Hulk, and Thor. And I think that's out of order, but Marvel fans would definitely know the order of are you what they go are. Over these ones as well at the same time? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. Um, so yeah, we got, uh, yeah, obviously I just said the, the four names, but then after Thor, uh, we have got, okay, if you slide the, the photo, oh. yeah, there we go. So we got Ho Hawkeye, Black Widow, Nebula, and War Machine, and then we got ourselves, uh, Thanos, Captain America, and Ant-Man, or sorry, not Captain America, Captain Marvel, and Ant-Man, and all these come with uh, a pack of cards and comes with three cards in a pack uh, which are uh, exclusive to Entertainment Earth. So if you want basically what would be the commons except they come with cards then Entertainment Earth is the place to get them. Then in the order I have here we got ourselves some exclusives of like what would be the normal common pop. So we got ourselves a, a Hulk uh, pop that's wearing kind of like a like a gray and purple attire that will be exclusive to EB Game slash GameStop. We got ourselves a Captain America that is exclusive to Hot Topic. We got ourselves, finally, an Iron Man pop that is exclusive to Box Lunch. We got our, And we got ourselves uh, Hawkeye with the Avengers outfit that is exclusive to Walgreens. Isn't that weird that they'd make the exclusive... Of him wearing the outfit and not just throw it in the set with all the other ones wearing outfits. Yeah, I, I kind of thought about it that too. There might be too. something about the movie though. But then, yeah, there's also there's also rumors that supposedly like that's not the end of the Avengers uh, Endgame pops. Like, I guess that's only wave one. Oh, uh, jeez. Yeah, I, exactly. Like 30-something in the first wave. But uh, the next uh, set of uh, exclusives, now we'll move on to the photo. We got War Machine, uh, which I'm pretty sure this one's wearing the Avengers outfit, is uh, an oh, Amazon yeah, hey, exclusive. Yeah. We got the Rocket Raccoon that is wearing the Avengers outfit and is a Walmart exclusive. And we got ourselves, uh, this time it's Ronin, instead of we earlier talked about Ronin from uh, Captain Marvel. We got Ronin, oh. so it's an I instead of an A. Uh, for uh, That's also a Walmart exclusive. And then we have ourselves a two-pack uh, Barnes & Noble's exclusive of Hulk wearing the Avengers outfit and Thanos. Uh, then uh, after that, now we'll move on. Uh, it is uh, Pop and Tease. So we mentioned these because they come with Funko Pops. So we have to mention about the Pop the pop and Tease. So we got the Hulk with a, with a different version of like this Avengers outfit. More of a like a red, gray, and blue outfit. Uh, and it comes with the tee that will be exclusive to Hot Topic. And we got Captain America pop and tee uh, that will be exclusive to FYE. Uh, and that Captain America is also wearing the same attire as uh, Hulk. Then we move on to uh, the next set of pop and tees, which one is Thor, which I think is still wearing that. Yeah, all of them are wearing that same attire. Uh, which will be exclusive to EB Games slash GameStop. And we got ourselves Tony Stark, which this one has been rumored for a while and photos were leaked. Tony Stark, Pop and T, which this pop, I guess, glows in the dark, uh, oh, yeah. which I've seen in like different people's photos. I don't know if the other ones do because they don't say Maybe. it. Because like, it doesn't say on here, but like this one has the glow around it, but so did the rest of them. They all have like glow around them. Yeah, maybe I they all... the blue probably glows in the dark, because if you look on the... Like, on the tees, it looks like the blue part, maybe even... Maybe even the shirts are glow in the dark as well. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Tony Stark, uh, exclusive to Target, uh, which that was confirmed. But then the last one... Uh, is a 10-inch Thanos that will be exclusive to Target, which I guess from what I heard actually did not get released today. It's supposedly getting released at the end of the month. I think actually the same day Avengers Endgame comes out, which is, I think, April 26th. If I'm not mistaken, that may be the date for those. So now that we just got, <laughs> we got over and done with all these Avengers Endgame Funko Pops, which is like over 30 of them. Uh, what are your... 
immediate thoughts? Um, I don't know. They're they're weird because they all <laughs> kind of look the same with the with the Avengers outfits they have on, and a lot of them are repackaged figures, like the cards or like the two pack of the uh, the Hulk and Thanos. It's just the two figures put in a two pack together and shipped over to Barnes and Nobles. Um. I, I don't know. There's not a lot to say about this set. It, they look nice. Yeah. Um, I kind of think, like, I'm looking at, like, so you got the commons, and then you got the Entertainment Earth ones, which are basically the commons, except they come with cards. So I'm thinking, like, is it even worth getting the commons when you can just get the, the Entertainment Earth ones that come with cards? Yeah. Like, collectible cards. But, like, I'm curious on how many fans are going to fork out money to basically get the same pot because the one other one has an Entertainment Earth sticker on it. Yeah, that's true. And then, uh, yeah, the Barnes & Nobles one, the two-pack, is basically the same commons, but they're put into uh, a box together, as you had mentioned. Uh, and then uh, the Pop and Tees, uh, I haven't really looked at. I've only seen photos of the Tony Stark one, but I haven't seen the... Uh, think it was who was hot uh, hulk is hot topic um but yeah um i don't think the only one i think i i like out of them is the 10 inch thanos because that's like basically the more realistic one since he's like a much larger person compared to all the uh other avengers so it makes sense for him to be like in a 10 inch form even though he's already has two versions of himself in the normal 3.75 inch uh, form. Yeah, I'd agree with you on that one. The best pop is definitely the 10-inch Thanos. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's not a lot going on. There's a lot of detail, but just not a lot of color. Um, but I guess that's just how it is. Yeah, um, so now, uh, now that these announcements are over, uh, like every podcast, I had explained this the last time, we are going to talk about our top 10 favorite Funko Pop announcements, and obviously the rules basically, uh, 10 separate Pops, it can't be like a set, uh, so obviously saying the Avengers is not an option, it's gotta be separate Funko Pops. Uh, both Matt and I have, uh, written down our top 10, uh, Funko Pops, and uh, we'll go the same order as last time. We'll uh, we'll start off with uh, with you uh, oh. with the number ten. Uh, so yeah, what do we what do you got for the number ten uh, on your list? Um, so there wasn't a whole lot that excited me with this uh, with these new pop announcements, but. Uh, number 10, I have a pop that I will definitely be getting, and that is Sting from The Police. Uh, I play bass, so it's cool that he has the bass guitar. And like I said earlier, with his hair, it makes it look just like him. And so, there's not much to say about it, but that's exactly why he sits at number 10, just making the list. Well, I actually had a... Well, obviously, my, my number 10 is different, but actually the number 10 I've written down here... Uh, I'm actually going to change it because I don't want it really on my list now after looking, getting another, uh, mention on, uh, which originally I'll just say it, it was originally Ronin, the specialty series, uh, from Captain Marvel. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I took another look at it. I'm like, you know what? I don't want it. So number 10 is now what my number nine was. And that is the, uh, AT&T exclusive metallic Night King. Um, I like the, I kind of like the detail on the pop. I don't know how much hype there was really over it, the overall hype. And I didn't really have like much of like a personal reaction, but I think it's on this list for sure because of the detail that goes with the pop. So that's why, uh, the Night King, uh, metallic version, AT&T exclusive is number 10 on my list. Now we got MB Shady with uh, number nine. My number nine. I don't even know what it is. Okay. My number nine is, if I can find it here quick. 
is the Gold Master Chief. I'm a huge Halo fan. It's actually one of the first games I ever played completely through. So I guess that's one reason why I put it on. I just also think it looks cool. Um, so yeah, that's why it hit number nine for me. All right. Uh, my number nine, obviously not Night King anymore because he moved down. Uh, my number eight, I'm going to say my number eight is going to move down to number nine now. And so I wait, are different... you even going to have ten anymore? Oh, I'll have ten. I know. Oh, I know. I'll have ten, what, he said. No, I will. <laughs> I will have ten. I because when we were looking through, I'm like, oh man, this pop should actually go on my list. Oh, okay. Because of detail. Um, my number nine pop now is War Machine, uh, from the Avengers. I'm kind of a fan of War Machine after uh, watching some uh, binge watching some Marvel the last few days, um, and I kind of like that. De- even though it's only like a couple colors, I like the the super amount of detail. That there is in the war machine. You like the Amazon one. It the the the, the common. The, the common, okay. <laughs> uh, the common is what I'm going for. Okay. Uh, there's some detail on that. Uh, especially I think it's near the boots. There's detail also, like little logos and stuff. Um. And uh, yeah, uh, detail basically is why it's on the list, most likely at number nine. So we got MD Shady at number eight. My number eight is, I'm going the wrong way here on my list of photos, is the normal Bruce Lee with the Giants gear on. And that's just because it's a it's a cool pop. It's different. And that's why it makes the list. Maybe maybe a little too uh too high. Like I could have maybe switched it around with the Gold Master Chief now that I think about it. But We'll, we'll, we'll keep them at number eight. All right. Now my number eight uh, is going to be the previews exclusive Harley Quinn. I like the detail on that, on the pop. The amount of colors that are in with the pop. And uh, I like the, the detail with the boom box and, and everything. Uh, the, the, more, the color scheme is what uh, basically has made it higher than War Machine because War Machine doesn't really have much colors with the detail but it does have detail overall uh for for harley quinn uh more detail even than night king and war machine so yeah my number eight uh harley quinn your number seven my number seven is the amazon exclusive becky lynch um i'm i'm getting this pop and that's basically why i made the list why would I put a pop that I'm not going to get above, like, a pop that I am going to get on the list? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because then I should be getting that pop if I like it more. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why it got so high up on my list at 7, um, is because I'm getting it, and it's it's a cool pop. It looks good. Yeah. Um. Number 7. Now my list hasn't like changed. This is like the for sure oh, okay. list. Like seven and up has stayed the same. Okay. Uh, the twenty nineteen Galactic Convention slash Star Wars Celebration Watto. Wow. Uh, I think Watto definitely deserves to be on my list because of the the amount of detail, the color scheme, and it's just it's one of the more realistic uh, pops of uh, of the month. So uh, yeah, number seven. Uh, goes to good old Watto. Nice. 20 years in the making. So I guess that brings me to my number six, which is the Harley Quinn preview exclusive. All right, so there, there's the first time some of our pops have uh, crossed. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm going to get this pop if I can. I'm sure it'll probably be, what, like a $30, $40 pop maybe. I don't know. If some previews like show up at our EB Games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it'll even be like 15. Yeah, yeah. Um, th- this is a really cool pop, and I don't really... I have two, I think, DC pops, and those are um, Surfing Batman and Surfing Joker, just because I thought those ones are really cool. And this will probably be the third to enter my collection, just because it's really nice. I like this one. It's probably the best Harley Quinn pop that's out. Yeah, I, I think I would have to agree. It's even like surprisingly better than the i would say the best one probably that was released was possibly maybe the the suicide squad one 
Yeah, or like the more OG look for Harley Quinn where she has like the, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Things. <laughs> you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm talking about her hood, I guess, or her hat, whatever it yeah. is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was number six, right? That's yeah. where we're on. Yeah. Number six on my list uh, is the box lunch exclusive Iron Man. Uh, it made it far up because obviously, like, you know, it's it's Iron Man. It's even the colors uh, and the pose. It just looks pretty good in the... The eyes, like, very well, obviously, like, the eyes are just are just white, but like the overall detail in the suit and everything, and doing a normal Iron Man pose, uh, that's why it's made it up the list on uh, on my top 10 list. So, yeah, number six, Iron Man box lunch exclusive. Hmm. So, that brings me into my number five, top which... five. I, I'm surprised that this isn't like number one on my list or or at least more than at least in the top three so it's not getting as much love as it should but that is my number five and that is Darth Maul it's uh, a really cool pop it looks really good and I'll definitely be getting it if I can yeah I should have also mentioned I now I remember because I was supposed to mention where they were being exclusive to Darth Maul's exclusive to Walgreens. Okay, right, right. I do but I don't that. know how their shipping is. Whether they charge like a lot of money on shipping for international yeah. shipping. I can but just Wado, go to Walgreens. Wado is hot topic. Yeah. So Wado's an easy access uh, for us Canadians. But uh, yeah, um, yeah. So now, yeah, number five. My number five is the triple a anime exclusive spider carnage i uh, i was really pumped when i seen this pop uh especially because i'm like wait there's a spider-man in carnage like that's a thing so like it was the element of surprise kind of like how uh that translucent john cena that element of surprise kind of deal was and shot that pop up to number one in the january list for me um but this obviously i think when we were talking about like the like the uh the pink like mouth i think that's basically the reason why um it's no, not higher, higher yeah. on the list it's just that small little detail that like it could have been way higher on the list possibly a top three uh if like they would have removed that and added like a cool like tongue or whatever and then uh yeah so number five spider carnage all right, so that brings me to my not can't say it say words. Uh, <laughs> that brings me to my number four, which is the blue Boba Fett. Just because the day that these were um, announced, what day was it again? Uh so blue Boba Fett. Oh, that would have been March twenty first. March twenty first. That was ten days ago. Yeah. Um, jeez, it seemed like longer. Um. These, uh, the day that these were announced and Dylan sent me the pictures of them, I was, the, that one just really stuck out to me was that blue Boba Fett. I don't know why. I'm assuming just because of the Django Fett thing, but it just looks really cool. Yeah, so now, uh, yeah, number four on my list. I never thought I would, uh, I'd put this on my list, but this is definitely on my list mainly because of overall hype from fan base and that is charmander okay uh charmander especially not just because of the overall hype uh charmander is on there uh because especially since charmander is or not Charmander, sorry charizard is like my favorite pokemon so with charmander being an evolution of Char uh, charizard uh and even like the detail of like even the little detail, it's still, like, pretty good. Like, I even like that. That over the Bulbasaur for some reason. But, uh, as terms to detail. But, uh, mainly the overall hype is the reason it's so high up on the list. Yeah, this, uh, this is a good pop. It, uh, it's definitely the best one out of the Pokemon pops so far. Yeah. In my opinion. It just, it looks 
cool. Mm-hmm. He's got a nice pose going on, and yeah, I'd agree with you. You're number three. We're now in the top three. Three. Charmander. <laughs> oh, we're still okay. So original. Originally, I had it switched up, but uh, yeah, Charmander is my top three at three, and that's because of all the reasons why we just talked about. It's it's a sick pop. I hope I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, number three on my list uh, is the ten inch Thanos. From, uh, exclusive to Target, I think uh, it's higher than Charmander uh, because of detail and deed, and it's probably got as much hype uh, as Charmander because of the fact that people have been hyping over these Avengers Endgame pops for like at least a month now, and even the realism of the pop that makes like the pop as a 10 inch because it's way the character overall is much larger than the normal avengers like i mentioned earlier so i think with that realism and the detail uh there wasn't really much of a like a personal reaction uh there were some at least but like but obviously enough where thanos got higher up on the list than charmander so yeah my number three 10 inch thanos Uh. top two number two two (laughs) <laughs> my number two is the spider carnage I, I there's just something about this pop it just it sparks with me the mouth is a little weird but i've almost grown to look past it i almost think it looks really good <laughs> and i love the fact that it looks like spider-man 2099 because that's a, a super awesome version of uh spider-man yeah. And, and I don't know, this is just a cool pop. He's got the stand, he's got the cool claws, like a carnage would. I, I the legs and the torso are definitely like the two best parts of this pop. The head I would almost say c- it could be better, but I don't know what they would do to make it better. So like this could have got the number one spot for me, but it's uh stuck at number two. My number two is the Amazon exclusive Becky Lynch. Okay. Uh, because this is more of personal uh, reaction uh, since like I've been waiting for a Becky Lynch pop for a while now. And I think uh, the, even the overall hype with the WWE Funko fans have been wanting a Becky Lynch Funko pop. And uh, I still think uh, the only reason this pop ha- didn't make it to number one is because of the fact that she's not wearing her wrestling attire, it's just her street clothes. However, there is detail in her street clothes, like the man t-shirt and the the colorful colorful sneakers and the black pants, and she's doing her pose. And it's it's one of the better WWE Funko Pops. Uh, to come out in a bit. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So Becky Lynch, Amazon exclusive at number two, and now we finally we're now at number one. So I can't wait to hear what your number one is. I'm. I'm going to see if you can guess what my number one is. Obviously, I don't think it's any of the Avengers pops. Or is it an Avengers pop? You just got to guess. I'm not giving you hints. Oh, man. Jeopardy? Yeah. Well, I mean, Alice Trebek was last month. Fair. Fair. You got me there. Um, Oh, man. Um... Obviously, it's not, you already added Charmander, so it can't be Charmander. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not Darth Maul because you already said Darth Maul. I feel like I want to say Watto, but it's not Watto because I don't know if that would be number one. But uh, number one's Watto. <laughs> is that who it is? It's Watto. This is the sickest pop that's come out in a while. I love this pop. Watto is freaking. He's got to be in my top ten favorite Star Wars characters, and. I am a huge Star Wars nerd. I don't know. I just love Watto. He's just fucking... You can bleep that one out, too. Uh, <laughs> he's just... I don't know. He's just, This pop's really cool. Oh. It, it, and the reason why I like it so much is that it definitely could have been worse. And now that I'm looking at it again, he even has his, like... It's not a scouter. That's Dragon Ball Z. Um, It's like his little thing that shows how the pods are doing. 
like it's like Saboba's tracker for the pod race, like you know the little yeah. screen thing. He's got that in his hand, which is cool, and he's even doing like the little, not to be racist, like Italian, like <laughs> meet the ball hand, <laughs> and like he's got the warts on his face and just so much color blending in this pop. There's so much color going on with it for what it is. I really want to see what the back looks like with his, like his wings, like the inside of his wings, if they're like purplish, greenish on the inside instead of just that blue color. The eyes, it's like a new, I don't think we've ever seen like lime green eyes like that. That's true. We've seen and, like the orangey eyes, like the Anakin Skywalker pop and even the uh, the Darth Maul yeah. pop. And not many times, usually with eyes that are that are squinted with Funko Pops, it'll just be paint over the circular eye. Whereas these ones like look like they're buried underneath the skin flaps, like the eyelids. Th- this pop's just awesome. That's why it's number one. All right. Can you guess my number one? It's Darth Maul, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Darth Maul is my number one. I just... The, the it, detail definitely is probably the main reason. Especially, I feel like they keep... Funko keeps blowing my mind with the Darth Maul pops. Uh, improving on them. Even though, like, I keep thinking, like, the first one is still a good, a good pop. And then the Rebels one was pretty sick. But now it's like... I'm at a point now where it's like, I need to get this one. Yeah. So it's exactly. like, and I've even, I thought about it the other day, like I'm thinking like I might, I might have like a Sith collection. Yeah. Like I cool. might start a Sith collection. Like I might, I want to look for that Count Dooku. That's a smuggler's bounty yeah, version yeah. and all that. But like now that this is not just, this is not just a, uh, like another like Star Wars pop. This also will probably show on the box too. Twentieth anniversary, Phantom Menace. Yeah. So it's that's like true. so like I I feel like and even with the hood and then like the detail of the face paint and even with the glowing eyes, just that and not like the little like like the little red like circle-y type thing on like the original one. Yeah. That's kind of like weird. They even did it with like the original Joker. Um, they didn't add to this one, which I like so. That's why, like, Darth Maul, uh, definitely number one huh. on on the list, so. Yeah, I was thinking, like, they can't really do much more with Darth Maul besides what they've already done. Besides, like, if my, like, wish, I guess, for a Darth Maul pop is if they would do the Clone Wars animated series Darth Maul with the, meta- or, like, yeah, they could probably make him metallic too, and have the the spider legs from his bottom torso, with like him with no shirt on. Have mm. you seen that? Have you seen the Clone Wars? I think I might have seen that, but it's it's not drawing like a picture uh, in my head. Yeah, because his brother, I believe it is the yellow Darth Maul. I forget his name off the top of my head. Um, he like finds him in the bottom of the the pit that he gets like chopped in half in, in. Phantom Menace. Yeah, he finds him in the Clone Wars in in there. And he's not dead, but he's in half, and he, like, sticks him in this mechanical spider suit, and he's just a badass. I honestly thought, like, it was, what I was going to say was basically almost close to what you said. I thought you were going to say a Darth Maul, where it's actually, like, it's cut up into two pieces. Like, I'm not saying it's, like, a two-pack, where it's, like, a top half and a bottom half, but it could be, like, separated into one pop. Like the Harry Potter pop with the headless, uh... Whatever his name is. Yeah, I, I guess that too, or even, because they've even done, well, they didn't add a hand to it, but I would have said, because I even have it, the best bin, uh Luke Skywalker, they have like, the hand chopped off. That. Yeah, yeah. But if they had a Darth Maul where, like, even you can have a lightsaber on the side, but it's like two pieces of Darth Maul mm-hmm. on, on that. But, uh, yeah. All right. And uh, that's the end. At least that should be. And as I'm looking at this, this definitely is now the shortest podcast we have ever done. Hmm. Uh, the last one was the longest, uh, which I'm not. I'm not arguing that's a short podcast. Um, hour and twenty three minutes. Uh, as we record this, probably a little bit more when uh, I have to add the intro and the amount of bleeps and the whole little segment <laughs> of me flipping out. Um, but. Uh, yeah, the next time probably, obviously, would be May 1st, and uh, 
yeah, I'm curious now. Tomorrow's April 1st, so uh, I'm curious of whether we're getting those Toy Story 4 announcements confirmed tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, or as... Do you think Funko will post, like, an April Fool's joke tomorrow? Like, a super crazy release and just be like, just kidding, it's fake? <laughs> uh, I or don't know. Or do something, like, ridiculously stupid and then be like, yeah, it's an April Fool's joke. Uh, I almost wanted to go dark and say WWE Owen Hart Funko Pop and then say April Fool's. But that would be dark. Very dark. This kid is a savage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, that's the end. Uh, officially now the end. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Uh, next month, uh, May 1st. Unless there's somehow a convention, then it'll be like split into two. But I'm more than certain there won't be a convention uh, next month. So, yeah. You guys should go follow me at uh, MD Shady Figs. That'd yeah, be cool. MD Shady Figs, and uh, obviously follow the A Funko Popcast uh, Instagram page, uh, where originally we had 300 followers, but somehow I was gonna make a shout out uh, to someone for being the 300th follower, but now there's only 297 as we record this, so I can't do the shout out. So, anyways, peace out, guys. Peace. Thanks for listening. See you guys May first.